Welcome back to another episode of Trackside with Anthony Del Pesce. It's good to have Anthony back. How was the Breeders' Cup? That was a great experience. You know, I, I learned a lot and uh, obviously fantastic to see all these top ra racehorses and competing against each other and fantastic to even see uh, Gosden and I've, I've never seen him at the races. And just to show you the attention to details that uh, when saddling up the horses, it, it really uh, made my hair stand up. Good, that's brilliant. This weekend, a busy weekend for Hollywood Syndicate. There's 22 two runners from Friday to Sunday. This weekend, we'll be touching on Hollywood Bets Durbanville on Saturday, Hollywood Bets Scottsville on Sunday. Don't forget about the Free to Play Hollywood Bets Punters Challenge. Good weekend's racing. Hopefully, it's a profitable one. We start off at Hollywood Bets Durbanville on Saturday, and Anthony's best bet comes in race one in the form of number nine, King of Spin. He's a Hollywood Syndicate runner from Brett Crawford Stable, Louriam Court to win the saddle. He's definitely better than his last start. Yeah, he's definitely better than his last start. It was, uh, he had an abscess just before the race and obviously the abscess popped and I think Brett said he, he thinks he made a mistake. He should have never run him and uh, it could have caused his poor performance. I think if he bounces back to his uh, first run, I think he'll be a very difficult horse to beat. The only concern is uh, the draws. The horses are really battling to make up ground at the moment at Hollywood Bets Durbanville. So I think that's the biggest concern. He's doing exceptionally well at home. Uh, has a bit of a wide draw to overcome. But on the strength of his work at home, um, I do feel that he'll be very competitive on Saturday. In race three, the Hollywood Syndicate is represented by two horses. We'll start off with number three, Snow and Love from the Brett Crawford Stable. Corno off in the saddle. She had excuses on debut, but uh, would have come on from the run. Yeah, she has come on from the run and obviously stepping up in trip is going to suit her. But Brett does believe that she will need another run to tighten up. I do think she'll appreciate the 1400. But um, as I said, I think she'll need one more run before she's competitive. And then number nine on the card is Kawe Kazi from the Harold Crawford and Michelle Ricks yard. Richard Free in the saddle. She's produced two very good efforts. Yeah, um, she's a filly that I, I, I would say if she was drawn in the first three or four, should be very, very hard to beat. I think the only thing that can beat her is a draw. I think stepping up in trip, Richard said that will suit her. So my only concern is the track is running fast and she gets too far behind. She'll just battle to make it up. And we move on to race four and my best bets on the card is number three, give me that pearl from the Justin Snay stable, Grant Funny Kirk in the saddle. She was super impressive when winning on debut over 1,250 meters on this course. She carries a nice weight of 52.5 kgs. The Justin Snay stable has come into form. I think she's above average and should remain unbeaten. We move on to race seven and the Hollywood Syndicate is represented by number three, Cap Saxon from the Mike and Adam Azzi stable. Peter Sundham Corley in the saddle. He's definitely better than his last start at Hollywood Bet Stimble. Yes, he didn't handle the track too well last time and he was drawn deep and he, he didn't corner well. He gets a good draw and I think the mile is going to suit him a bit better. But although saying that, I believe the Durbanville mile is like a 1400 meters. I think he still is a horse that wants a little bit further. Unless he gets things his own way up front, uh, he'll have a chance. But I think if you have to rush him, I can't see him having any chance. If he has to put up the workouts he's showing at the track, I think he should give a good account of himself. And close off in race eight with Meta from the Brett Crawford stable. Richard Free in the saddle. She finished second in her last three starts and isn't too far away from a win. No, she's not too far away from the win. And obviously, I think if Richard can get her in a good position, she'll definitely, definitely be the horse that they'll have to beat. This filly's been in good form at home. I'm happy with how she's going into this race. Um, and obviously, I think um, she'll get all the assistance from Richard. So uh, I make her a big runner. We move on to Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday, a busy day for the Hollywood Syndicate. We'll start off in race one and Anthony's best bet is number 10, the Shepherd from the Peter Musket Stable, Gavin Arena in the saddle. He showed good sign, good improvements in his last start over 1,200 metres, but uh, I feel he'll be better over on the straight course. Yes, and he was in need of the run. Um, he had a long break and he, he was gelded, so I definitely feel that he was in need in the run. He moved up like he was going to win and just had enough. I think he's a fitter horse now, and uh, I really think he'll be a very hard horse to beat. He did finish his work off well down the straight. He should be much better. And obviously the form of his 
The debut run is very strong and a repeat of that performance should certainly see him be involved on Sunday. And then number 12 on the card is Wizards on Fire from the Gareth Van Sales table. Attendim Hordwa takes a ride. What can you tell us about the son of Captain of All? He is a smart horse. Um, he shows very good work at home. He could just be in need of the run. He's a horse that should run well. Um, he'll probably just need it from a fitness perspective. But I'm excited to get him going. We move on to race two. And my best bet on the card is number three, William Robertson from the Corn ASP stable. Gavin Lorena and Saddle. He won a good race over 11.60 at Turfentine last time. He comes into a race best weighted and should take a power of beating. Then the Hollywood Syndicate is represented by number five, Bowie from the Gareth Van Sales stable. Atene Dewey and takes a ride. He finds it tough at the weights, but should give another good account. Yes, he's very well and uh, he's doing well at home, but I, I just feel like William Robertson is really weighted to win the race. He looks the right horse in the race. It'd be nice to see him run a place. He's, he's a hard knocker and he does well. Um, he's doing well. Um, we know him now and he's in a good space. Looking for an honest run, but he has got it to do. Um, he's got his work cut out in, in this field. Move on to race three and Hollywood Syndicate is represented by two horses. We'll start off with number one, Portalicious from the Allison Ride Stable. Attendee Mkhordwa takes a ride. He showed natural improvement last time. Yeah, I think he's a very nice horse. He, he looked very big last time and uh, I'm sure he will have trimmed up after that race. I think he's got the draw on his side. I think stepping up in trip is going to suit him. I really think he has a winning chance. It was a better run from him last time out on the grass. He jumps from a good draw. He has a jock that knows him and expecting further improvement. Number 14 on the card is the accommodator from the Peter Musket stable, Daryl Daniels in the saddle. He returns from a 10 week break has been golden and hoping to see improvement. Well, we're hoping for improvement. He's been very disappointing, but he's got a poor draw. So he'll have to be dropped in and hopefully he can see him finishing off his race and he'll have a better chance maybe next time. I just want to see some improvement from him. Obviously, he's been very disappointing to date and hopefully the gelding has turned him around. We move on to race four and Hollywood Syndicates is represented by two horses, both from the Ellison Wright stable. We're off the rascal, Sipusich Lengua takes a ride. He won a good race last time, but step up, steps up in class. Yeah, he's an honest horse. He always gives of his best, but uh, I do feel that uh, beyond the boundary, uh, maybe a better uh, ride on the day, I think. For me, beyond the boundary is the horse that they'll have to beat in the race. He's fit and well, and if he doesn't give himself too much to do, expect him to run in the money. He's doing well at home. Draw eight is a little bit tricky, and if he gets luck in running, expect him to be involved in the finish. Race five on the card in the Hollywood Syndicate is represented by two horses. We'll start off with number six, Purple Powerhouse from the Allison Wright Stable. Nirvan Nastili takes four kgs off his back, and uh, he showed some signs of improvement last time and likes his course and distance. Yeah, he'll, he'll enjoy the track, and uh, he's got no weight on his back. Uh, he's, got to be, he's got to have a chance. He's an old horse now, but uh, I think he's, he's fit a horse now. And I, he must definitely be in with a chance. He will be carrying a lightweight, he's fit and well, and expecting another good run from him. And then number 10 is Benny in the area from the Gary Rich stable called Dickon in the saddle. He won a good race when shedding his maiden tag, he takes on stronger and uh, he'll find it difficult, I think. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's a horse that Richard that does believe that after his maiden, there's definitely more wins in the tank. and. Uh, yeah, I don't think he'll disgrace himself. I think he could run into the money. He's doing very well at home. I'm just concerned his rating's a bit high, so the race will tell us where we are with him. We move on to race six, and the Hollywood Syndicate is represented by number 10, Pindam Zala from the Gary Rich Stable, Cole Dickin in the saddle. He needed his last two starts and should enjoy the return to a straight course. Yes, I do think he's better horse on the, on the turf. Uh, his form on the poly has been very average. I think the track distance suited. I really think he'll be a runner. He's doing very well at home. I see that his form is better up the straight. So the Scottsville straight over a thousand should suit him. Hopefully he will run into money. And then race seven, the Hollywood Syndicate is represented by number two, Dock of the Bay from the Michael Roberts stable. Rachel Venneker takes a 1.5 kgs off. He showed some signs of improvement last time. Yeah, he has shown some signs of improvement. He's dropped in the rating and He's, I think he's reached the mark now that he will be very competitive. He gets a very good draw. 
He was caught three deep last time, never got things his way. He got interfered up the straight and only finishes two lengths behind. I think he's a huge runner. He should run a good race. Uh, he's still in good form and doing well at home.